Are you a beginner with Make and want to learn how to build automation with Make yourself? Then keep watching this series and I'll show you how you can build your first scenario and build automations at ease. Hey, my name is Manuel and I'm the founder of Techflow AI and we love automation. In this video of the series, I will tell you more about the concept of mapping on make and what fields and variables are and path and how you can work with them. Let's dive into it. First, what is mapping? Mapping is basically if you click on any text field that you have in a module. So remember, this was called a module. If you click on any text field, then this will open up and you can see everything that has been transferred from previous modules. And now you can insert them here to have them as a variable, which means whatever data, for example, the name. So whatever name this file has that we have just found in that folder, we can put it in here and then it acts like a variable and will actually replace it with the name when we run this scenario or when it runs in the back end. In this case, we need the file ID over here and we just map it by clicking on it. Then we also have a ton of different variables, like we have this basic general functions, math functions, text and binary functions, date and time functions, and array functions. And you can use all of them inside any text field, but I won't go into that in more detail now. The main ones are probably these ones that you can find under general functions. And then if you're working with text, these ones are super helpful. And then also the formatting of date and times is helpful because you oftentimes just want to transfer a date into a different format. Now let's get back into our scenario. We set up the file ID here, so it will use that actual file. And now I will choose the target location. So I have selected my main folder again, and then a subfolder inside that folder is the, just another folder. And then I press OK. Now I have a two step scenario already set up. I watch my files in the folder and then I move file to another folder. And then the connection in between is called a path. A path is connecting multiple scenarios and it always goes from the trigger to the next module and you can connect more modules afterwards. So if I copy this one and paste it here, there's another path. So it will be like this. This one will be processed first then this one, then this one, and you can always see how it works if you click on explain flow and we'll show you exactly in which order it would be processed. Now let's unlink this one for now because we want to test this actually for showing you what it looks like. We have this blank file over here and here's the just another folder inside the make for beginners tutorials folder. And now when I run this module once, we have two green check marks over here, which means basically it ran successfully. Everything looked good. And we found a file in our folder, which is the blank.png file. And we actually moved it into another folder. So let's check on Google Drive. And yep, it's gone from this folder. And if it checked, it's just another folder. It's back in here. So that worked perfectly fine. And you can use that to reorganize your files when something got upload somewhere, you can just move it somewhere else. Or you can also like choose one of the other options here, you can copy the file and then delete the original one. Or you can forward it via email, for example, as an attachment, which I will show you in the next video of this series. If you like this video and want to learn more about make in the series, then keep watching, subscribe to my channel and turn on your notifications. Leave us a like and you will learn more in the upcoming videos.